Hello collective, welcome back to my channel. This is your intuitive star see you tomorrow, your life worker. Back with another general read for the beautiful and my handsome collective. Hope you guys are doing well. Blessed and highly favored. <clears throat> for those of you that have liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel, mwah, hugs and kisses to you. Hopefully you get something out of the message in some way, shape, form, or fashion. All right. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. Um, right out of the gate, I do curse. I do use profanity on this channel. So if you're new and you don't like that, you don't like profanity or cursing of any kind, I may not be the reader for you. And that is perfectly fine. All right. As long as you receive the messages wherever you get them from. Okay. Whatever reading you get them from. All right. But if you choose to stay, I would love to have you. Also, Jenna is fluid on this channel, so he can be a she, she can be a he. Flip the roll as you need to. All right. If I'm talking about a feminine, I could also be talking about a masculine. Same sense, same scenario. This could be past, present, or future energy. That of my beautiful, handsome collective, your past persons, people around you them places times and also events this can be clarity or validation for others of you also you know what to do when you need to do your return to send this call up the energy back call on archangel michael or archangel metatron either one all right so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into this read and get the message Daddy issues. Hmm. Next card, threatening to expose his business with other co-workers. And spring break could be significant. Somebody could have met somebody during spring break or something could have happened. Something somebody did with somebody on spring break or during spring break. Or something somebody did during the spring break. Or somebody with some daddy issues did something during spring break that... Somebody's threatening to expose to their co-workers now. Let's keep going. But I will show you the spread when I'm done, you guys. I'm just, you know, trying to charge my device at this time. But, um... I'm so used to showing to my um, but for some of you that's used to this, then I don't have to explain. Um, Pisces feminine can be significant. Pisces feminine is out here. Um, yeah, 
you know, somebody threatening to expose somebody's business, but this is somebody that got some daddy issues. Like somebody got some issues they need to, you know, resolve that is going on with them and a father figure here. Cause somebody, um, whether this is somebody and they dad or somebody, you know, and they son. But I feel like it got something to do with somebody's, you know, the way they see something, like the way something is seen when it comes to them. So it's, you know, maybe how somebody doesn't get, um, you know, the praise or the recognition or the um pat on the back things of that nature like from their dad they may you know have to earn you know that emotional side to their dad and they may never have gotten it and this may have you know caused somebody not to be able to express it as a father you know they self when it comes to their emotions be something they hold in Keep to themselves, or just display it in other ways by buying things, things of that nature. They may never have really gotten, you know, verbally that expression of how that, like that, I love you and things like that. And it's called privacy hater, nosy as fuck. So somebody a privacy hater. Somebody don't like when somebody young know, state of themselves. Keep to they self. They just like to ask a lot of questions, like to be, you know. I knew somebody like this. <laughs> I didn't know they was a privacy hater, but I knew they were nosy as fuck. Um, and now, you know, at a time, I may not have thought, you know, they were all that nosy or privacy hate at the time, I guess, because, you know, we, you know, were friends or I was looking at them as a friend or whatever. But this is, you know, you know that 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 nosy as fuck privacy, you know, hater shit did eventually start to show up, did, you know, start to develop. And it was with a Pisces feminine, too. Um, so I do know how it feels collective. I do. And it, it's, it's a thing of way, you know, it's the very thing that at some point it drives you apart. You know, it, you know, it, it pushes you away from somebody like that because you want people to value, you know, respect your boundaries and, um, you know, respect, you, you know, whatever values that you have or whatever boundaries you put in place, you want that respect and then you want that reciprocated so you know giving somebody that privacy and staying out of their business don't necessarily mean they're gonna do you the same it's hard don't ask me and i won't have to lie to you so somebody here at this point um is a compulsive liar yeah, you know, this this is somebody that gets, you know, they literally get high off of the fact that they think they telling you something that they they getting away with. Yeah, this is somebody that I'm talking about they get high off of that shit. Like literally, you know, get a kick out of it. Next card, scheming, robbing, and scamming. <laughs> so, somebody here is threatening to expose somebody to their co-workers about something they scheming, scamming, and robbing ass been up to. Because somebody did something during spring break. And they could have met this person during spring break or this is something somebody got involved in doing during spring break.
Well, somebody's a compulsive liar. And they threatening to expose somebody, you know, among, you know, they, they business with other co-workers. But this is somebody that is not going to just expose somebody with the truth. They're going to expose somebody, you know, based on a bunch of lies, too. There may be some truth in there, but they're going to mix the lies, you know, so thick in there that, you know, the lies going to seem like the truth, too, because somebody going to get a kick out of doing it. And for the most part, once they see that the people, you know, whoever they're talking to or whatever co-workers they will know they're going to want to say this to, these are co-workers that they already talked to that already lean on shit they say. They already, you know, be telling them shit now that they lie about, but this, these people don't know they're lying. So these are the main people they gonna wanna, you know, use this threat toward or on, you know, go towards and tell these things too, whatever they are. And that somebody business, you know, consists of these are people that already, you know, somewhat listen to this person as it is. So whatever they may come around them talking about, they may just spread it and you know, make it into, you know, a whole lot more than what this 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 compulsive ass lie you're gonna do. But whatever this is, it's going to make this workplace, you know, chaotic because it's something somebody wants somebody to do here. Or something somebody is not doing that is, you know, pissing somebody off that they don't want to do this with them no more. They don't want to be part of it or they don't want to be involved with them anymore. So they may have been doing something together, but somebody now don't want to be part of it. Somebody could drive a Hyundai Santa Fe. Call me is out here. Somebody wants you to call them. Collective. Storyteller. Clown. Next card. Somebody a damn storyteller. Like I said, compulsive liar out here. Don't ask me. I won't have to lie to you. Because somebody, you just as sure as you ask them about something, they're going to tell a lie before they tell the truth. feel like somebody been doing something as a, a group effort or they've been knowing somebody you know running some scheme and scam and robbing ass you know business here so whatever somebody doing as a side hustle you know got this little business doing and they scheming folks to get it get this money out of people somebody threatening to expose them to people other people that they work around so this might be a side hustle this might be something they do that ain't work related you know this is something they do outside of work you know as another you know stream of income and somebody you know that's a compulsive liar now they willing to tell folks at their job you know what this person do on the side with this scheme and scamming and shit you know but they do it too is what i'm saying they do it too, but it's just that this person probably don't want to do it no more, like I said. Next card, she found something of yours. Timothy is out here. So one name could be Timothy, could be significant. The more they spy on you, the more jealous of you they get. Unexpected awareness. So something, like I said, 
somebody wants to threaten, you know, to tell something, but somebody is a whole storyteller too, though. But you're going to be made aware of something unexpectedly, like something going to come towards you or something going to pop up, like, um, as a text, you know, like from a number you may not be expecting or not familiar with, um, but this is somebody that wants you to call them too. Because I feel like somebody wants to talk to you about some things that somebody want to lie to you about. Yeah. Somebody want to talk to you about something somebody eventually is going to try to lie to you about. But this unexpected awareness is going to come from somebody you least expect it from. So it may be a past person. Um, it may be somebody, you know, yeah, it could be a past. It's, I feel like it's a past person, but it could be a friend. It could be a friend of a friend, um, like a past friend, a friend of theirs or something like that. Or somebody that you done cut off is somebody they were involved with. So it could be that actual person you cut off, like a family member, a co-worker, a friend or something like that, an ex-friend, you know, you no longer in contact with this person. Like, it's somebody that know them or the actual person. Because I'm hearing friend, friend, like a friend of a friend. So this might be a friend of, you know, somebody that you, you know, once called a friend or had as a friend. Or they, they you know, somebody that they once had as a friend that used to be friends with this past person of yours. But it's unexpected awareness that's being brought to you by somebody, by way of somebody you're not expecting it to come from. So it could be something like this. Your past person trying to make you aware of somebody from their past that want to, you know, try to reach out and tell you something. Alabama can be significant. Somebody could be from Alabama. Next card, slowly, genuinely making the necessary changes. I get nervous around you. Yeah, this person, see, yeah. Whoever this is, they get nervous around you, they want you to call them. But I feel like you got this person blocked, you know, in a lot of different ways. And you, if, and if you didn't before, you do now. So any other avenue that this person may have tried to reach out to you on, like WhatsApp, um, <laughs> unidentified numbers, like, you know, just private numbers or whatever. Like whatever this ways are, this person used to try to reach out to you, you won't talk to them. So now they down to the fact of you having to call them reach out to them and because they, you cut them off energetically in the 5d and in the 3d practice makes perfect keep doing something that's failing like somebody keep doing something you know to get the reaction they want to get the response they want the turnout they want and they're not getting it they keep doing it that way so even if this person is using, you know, that manipulation tactic, these mind games that somebody, you know, is used to playing with trying to get you to call them or sitting around waiting on time to pass, um, you know, like it may have had done in the past and you end up calling back, you know, after a while, after a year or something, this is not that. This is not that. It's like somebody thinking that it'll be like that all over again. It's not. If, if a past person is thinking that it's not it's like whoever ended out this cycle with them and they may have had this pattern of doing this before this is not that this is this is this is then are you my friend that shit there Anna can be significant Somebody doesn't really know it's the end. <laughs> they 
It's called being exposed for being fake, two faced. Exactly. Somebody gonna expose somebody, or oh, it's, it's it's somebody's karma to be exposed for being two faced. But she found something of yours in this masculine's position. Somebody, an oxygen thief, freeloader. <laughs> Next card, can't say that I wish you the best since it's not with me. So somebody here, they salty as fuck. They salty as fuck because somebody here really thought that whatever secrets they kept, you know, around, you know, from somebody would not be exposed. But exposure is happening on both ends. It's like this masculine being exposed, you know, and somebody, you know, being exposed for being fake. Two-faced. It's like somebody here is sitting here telling lies and they are compulsive liar, right? It's somebody sitting here telling lies, but somebody tells lies and then they cut, turn around and try to be, you know, like the person with the, the get rich quick scheme. But they somebody that will turn on you the minute they tell you how to get it. It's like. I'm going to tell you how to get it, but then I'm also going to call the authorities and let them know what time you're going to be over there at that bank when you rob it. So I'm going to just happen to, you know, <laughs> I'm going to just happen to show up, you know, and act like something, you know, finna pop off when I know it is because I'm expecting you to come in here and do, you know, do your thing. But this is who that is. This is somebody that, uh, stage you know come up with the plan and then sit back and watch you execute it watch you go and actually do it and then be sitting over here telling other folks like how you know when you get over there something such, such and such is gonna happen because they didn't tell you about it <laughs> if they didn't tell you about it, it's like telling you to go over there and get that ball from over the fence but don't tell you it's a dog over there and it bite <laughs> Oh, God. It, no, yeah. Like, it's a dog over there, but it's two dogs over there. <laughs> and they bite. So, it's like somebody, you know, giving somebody the scoop. Or, you know, working alongside them, scamming and scheming and robbing. But they just don't know this a, per this a snitch, too. This person will tell it. You know, just to get you caught up. You know what I'm saying? You made $2 more than in the day. Oh, okay, I'm finna drop that dime on your head. <laughs> I'm going back in the house. <laughs> and then they're going to be like, I don't know how they know that. <laughs> it's best that this basket don't ask this person. I knew I was going to do such and such because they're going to call you and tell you. <laughs> 
said that. That's the that's this unexpected awareness, child. Somebody gonna set the shit up only to tell you, hey, you know that past person of yours that wanna come back around? Yeah, we did. <laughs> did some scheming and scamming and robbing out here. And I've been living off this, you know, this wet dish rag for a while. So yeah. You know, and we, we kind of schemed and scammed on you one time, you know, on uh, a couple of times. Let me tell you how we did it, you know. Okay. But this is, you know, somebody also feeling like they're going to come and bring you about some unexpected awareness. <laughs> you, you already know the truth about because you're already going to be like, this is a, the whole damn lie and a whole mess from a private nose it motherfucker is what this is. So somebody gonna try to, you know, come towards you with some unexpected awareness, but it's really just to keep this person from coming to, <laughs> coming towards you and, you know, saying what needs to be said. Because I feel like this person been living off your past person. Somebody had been living off somebody and, you know, living off the back of this person, but they also somebody that would throw this person under the bus if they feel like this person, you know, doing a little something better than them, may go towards somebody better than them, may find out something, you know, about them, but they're going to keep this person looking, you know, like somebody nobody ought to listen to if, if before they do some shit like that, though. It's like, I don't want to, you know, people at the workplace to think, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm going to hurry up and go on and start dumping on you first about some shit they don't know. And then I'm going to throw some, you know, some lies in there to kind of spice it up, you know, to really make it interesting so they can keep listening and, you know, keep coming back to me for more and more and more, you know, until you it get back to you. And by then, you know, they got such a bad picture painted of this masculine that they don't want to hear shit that man got to say because they, they feel like they got all they need from this oxygen thing, this freeloader here. And before you know it, this person going to lose their job based on what somebody done been sitting around, you know, whispering, you know, playing the whisper song, you know, in people ear about. And they going to act and, and they might ride home with them, call them after work and everything like hey, everything normal, knowing this person finna get fired. Or knowing they talking about this person at work and it may lead to them being let go. Just based off this person, um, you know, making up stuff, you know what I'm saying, and not being truthful. But this is a compulsive liar, and they, they had the audacity to turn around, and because you picked up on the fact that they was two-faced, and they, you know, told some lies and was fake the whole time, wasn't really, you know, on your team. They wasn't really, you know, trying to help you. They really was just, you know, you know, working alongside you to see what you were doing so they can get the receipts on what they talk about next or how they going to expose you, you know, in your bullshit. So it's like somebody only came around to see what somebody had going on or how they got their money, things like that, and then went and, you know, sabotaged it by way of, you know, doing something behind the scenes and then but still hanging around a person. It's like being a, a undercover, you know, agent, cop or whatever. Only for you to participate in the bus, you know, you part of them, be, you know, this bus, but you're going to lay down on the floor like everybody else, knowing that you actually a cop yourself. You know what I'm saying? So. And the only reason why this person is really, you know, coming across as this way because this person found something of yours that belonged to this masculine. Whatever this masculine got, it belongs to you. They found something of yours that wasn't theirs. So it could have been some clothing. It could have been, you know, something that actually belongs to a feminine. And they know it. They know it. They know this is not something, you know, a man would have. They know this got to belong to a woman. Next card, couldn't believe you were single divine feminine. So somebody can't couldn't can't believe you single.
before somebody met you thinking you couldn't have been single. Because I feel like this is the energy somebody was in at the time when they met you. And when they met you, they may have felt like somebody like you was actually not single. You was actually with somebody when you really was single. Gemini feminine can be significant. Malicious gossip. Like I said, you got that's all it takes for a compulsive liar to, you know, end up doing something like this and it turn right into malicious gossip. Because it'd it be the thing that they want to say that gets legs and they start walking and traveling all over the place. Once it spreads, this is something this is all somebody wants. Close the door by Teddy Pendergrass is out here. So whoever this reading resonates with, this song may be significant to you. I don't own the copyrights to this, but um, again, the title is Close the Door by Teddy P. Autumn can be significant. You got spring, you got autumn out here. So you could be getting some unexpected um, awareness, you know, in autumn. About something that happened during spring break, on um, spring break. But this is this is you know part of the gossip, the lies. Need to talk to you, divine feminine, divine masculine. I'm telling you, this person they want you to call them. Greed is what this person was involved in, and you smell good enough to eat. See something you had. Um, that this masculine has of yours collective, um, it smells good. It smells like you. Next card wants to come in to take you off your focus of what you're doing. Moving on to calmer water. I feel like whoever this is that want to come in and take your focus off of what you're doing is whoever this is that want to come in with this unexpected awareness. Because I feel like somebody want to come towards you and give you like the scoop on something to make somebody out to be something, somebody that you reject before you could even see them, you know, and or have any, you know, contact with them. So it's like before your past person can get to you, somebody else is going to, you know, say enough for it to get back to you to where when they realize by the time they get through trying to spread this far and wide somebody you know expect you to receive an unexpected um message of awareness before this person reach you so they got to stay in touch with this person um you know to be able to find out if they have made it to you And somebody could have threatened to expose somebody about some things they've been caught up in or done, done together, you know, as a couple during spring break. This this couple could have fell out with each other. You know what was going on here because somebody then got back from spring break and, you know, ready to threaten, you know, this person already with what they've been up to and shit like that. Since they, you know, since spring break here. But this past person, they want to talk to you. They want you to call them. Because whatever's going to be exposed to this, this past person is the fact that they got with somebody they two-faced. They were wearing a mask. 
And this person ain't nothing but a clown. They're a storyteller. They're a compulsive liar. They spread it a lot of gossip and stuff like that to, you know, keep up, you know, with whatever they felt like they couldn't compete with with you in the first place, collective. They were very insecure. This is somebody that's very, um, how you say it, uh, small-minded. Like, this is somebody that does not think about consequences of their actions or none of that. This is somebody that if they say something, they, you know, if they tell one lie, they prepare to tell a hundred more. And they'll believe their own lies and, you know, be argumentative about it and all that. You know, try to pull out receipts, try to, you know, all kind of blind items to try to, you know, explain what they saying or back up what they saying when they know it's a lie. The sun at the bottom of the deck, Leo energy, happiness, trials, festivity, optimism, success, vitality, fun, truth. This IQT freeloader, who is this? Give me something on this one. Somebody experiencing heartbreak, separation, sorrow. Somebody in the three of swords, Libra energy. It could be any air sign, though. At the bottom of the day here, you got the Ten of Swords. Air sign, air right here, real thick. And somebody had the Ten of Swords in it. <laughs> ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. At the, I mean, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the day. Mental breakdown, ruin, failure, bitterness, exhaustion, betrayal, deep wounds. So this is your past person. Your past person had a ten of swords. They done ended out a cycle with somebody. They done moved on to karma waters. But this person, you know, they they heartbroken. And a lot of emotional pain, heart, you know, problems, betrayal, upset, loss, trauma, tears. It's your past person. Three of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Yeah, I'm telling you. Bottom of the day, page of swords. Leap Aquarius Gemini. Somebody definitely air sign, air or earth. Yep, somebody could be an air or earth sign. 
this lack of teamwork, trouble and collaboration, lack of cohesion, complete, poor motivation, lack of commitment. And like I said, you got the faith of souls at the bottom of the day. This is somebody scatterbrained like it's, it's in reverse. Lack of planning, sarcastic, gossipy, insulting, playing mind games. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is somebody that's Somebody they don't it's the same compulsive liar. This is somebody that don't um what's this card practice make perfect. This person keep doing stuff that is failing. That card is out here. Practice makes perfect. Keep doing something that's failing. And that's what this page of swords symbolizes is, you know, they scatterbrain, exhaustion, lack of planning, gossiping, playing game. Like this is somebody that loves to play mind games. Spreading a lot of malicious ass gossip, compulsive ass liar. And it could be your past person, but I'm saying these are, you know, the things that somebody has had to because um, you got Gemini Feminine out here, too, is one of the cards. And then you got Pisces Feminine out here. Somebody they nosy as fuck, they, you know, just a privacy hater. This is somebody that's very, you know, um, insecure. Somebody that's very low vibrant. This is a whole damn karmic out here, but at the same time, this is somebody that's in the scheme in the sky, you know, planning and, and robbing, but hell, they can't even do that right. Hell, they two faced it. Or this oxygen deep is somebody that's a you know they codependent. Your past person went towards somebody like this, and and whoever they around, they the same damn way. Like they friend, they friend circle, or whoever they you know keep company with, they the same way. This could be the same set. You could be two feminists here, but I mean you could be. The fact that that's a masculine and it's feminine energy. But I feel like this is somebody that got involved with somebody that they thought they were partnering with. But this is somebody that was planning on flipping on them in the first damn place. They were flipping on them the whole damn time when they wasn't around them. Whenever this person, they flighty. Whoever this is, whenever something ain't going their way, this person ready to, to, to tell it all. The, I mean, do the most. And this person constantly want to know what's going on with this mask, and that's part of the deal. But how you going to, you know, need to keep tabs on somebody when you're going to lie on them anyway? They may even be trying to get this person locked up. Clarify this three of pentacles and reverse the three of swords. Clarify this three of pentacles and reverse the three of swords. Where they caught it. This card, the more they spy on you, the more jealous of you they get. This person does a lot of readings on you. They could be a reader. They could be a practitioner. I hear this scheming and scamming and shit.
But I feel like whoever this is, this is somebody, you know, that is willing to throw your past person under the bus, you know, with whoever they think they got a chance with. You got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, but it's in reverse. Pisces energy, water sign. Unhealthy relationships, broken family, domestic conflict, separation, broken marriage, disputes, hopelessness. So at the end of the day, this person I moved on to calmer waters. You know, this Pisces feminine, they, they shit, look, they pissed. They pissed. You know, but at the same time, this is somebody they were they were gonna flip on and you know and have done it more than one time in this person phase. They they've been wearing a mask the whole time that was with this person. You know, this is somebody that was about building, you know, things up for themselves, you know, and feeling like they needed to have this person's stuff, this person's success, this person's, you know, rewards, this person's this, this person's that. Even if they had to obtain it, you know, by telling a bunch of lies and, and gossiping about folks. You know, maliciously. You know, you don't keep things that way. You lose it that way. The same way you got it, it's the same way you lose it. And people be surprised. They be acting so surprised when this shit happens. Clarify this higher from three, three of pentacles and reverse and three of swords. Call this shit is I'm telling you this exposure is behind the fact that somebody here is is stay calm. It's this is day in the tower. They're gonna keep having these damn towers because somebody here done did way too much goddamn spying to keep wanting to, you know, attack, 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 you know, what foundation somebody else is on. Staying in their lane was less traffic. It, I mean, now they bombarded with a bunch of damn towers now all around them. And now that this, you know, your past person that moved the hell out the way and went on to go experience and, and deal with their own towers, this person now pissed off with that too. But you moving on to, you know, happiness, triumph, you know. You moving on to your truth. I mean, you and child. And this person, you know, would like to have moved on. Your person moved on, but they can't. They're in this stagnation. And you got, um, yes, you got the Eight of Cups at the bottom. The day in reverse, Pisces energy, stagnation, indecision, staying in bad situations, travel problems, discernment, disenchantment. So, when it comes to this person, you know, being part of this scam and a scheme, whatever they were doing for money, you know, when it came to greed, it didn't amount to nothing. Like somebody had to walk away from however they got this. So even if this person was codependent, you know, on this masculine in the, in ways where they were just, you know, building, they had trouble building, you know, for, you know, two people to be as greedy as they were, or this person to be as greedy as they were to be two faced like this. It's like somebody, you know, turned around and didn't have enough to even, you know, do anything for themselves. You know, and this is why this person was holding on to this masculine so, you know, heavy, so thick. Because they knew if this person, you know, left, it would, you know, be the end of however, you know, they parted with anybody else to do what they was doing. But they willing to throw this person under the bus with you so that they don't come, you know, and build and, you know, thrive over here with you. Because somebody wanted them to think that this is where it was, but this was somebody you know, really manipulating the fact that they had the person over here in the first place. 
and now you know this is you know stagnation this is you know from this person creating you know moments where they would just be stuck in this cycle together and this person could be having you know travel problems um you know, your past person could be having trade. They moving on the calmer waters, but this person could be having issues with travel. That you know, their transportation may be tied up, may be complicated. Where they, you know, maybe sharing transportation, or maybe this person, you know, they haven't, you know, to call on them for a ride to work and things of that nature. So, you know, it may be having travel problems based off of that. You know, especially if this person, you know, help purchase something. You know, why they doing this? scheming and scamming and shit like that whatever they done purchased together you know that they thought you know they was gonna be able to go, go away with they can't you know this person is manipulating the, the, the whole shit you know by them moving on because they having travel problems like somebody is not um realizing well they realizing it now that the mask is off but I feel like at the time somebody didn't realize how big of a big of a hole they were digging for themselves by this person, you know, just providing, you know, the mindset of what to do when you getting it off the back of somebody else. But somebody was not prepared for the downfall. They weren't prepared for the consequences at all. The karma, the towers, none of that. Only and genuinely making the necessary changes. Who is this? Only and genuinely making the necessary changes. So, the world came out in reverse, Leo energy, lack of completion, shortcuts, delays, emptiness, deficiency, disharmony, fear of travel. So, like I said, this is somebody that had to cut their losses. Somebody here moving on the common waters is one thing, but somebody realizing, you know, how much money they've lost in the, you know, the hit that they took to their pocket financially is a, the fact that somebody was, you know, in their greed energy, right along with this past person, you know, you know, with your past person and who they went toward. They were in this greed energy. So this person now, you know, is struggling, you know, with the fact that they got, you know, money delays and you know, that's getting in the way of, you know, how they traveled and, you know, making travel plans and things of that in nature, you know. So it's the, the lack of completing out of cycle in, in time, you know, to end out of cycle before getting to this point here. And because this person, you know, stayed too long and went too far, this is the result. But, you know, with the work, you know, you got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio Sagittarius. The 
protective, natural born leader, visionary, entrepreneur, honor, magnetic, innovative, faithful, inspiring. This is you. Solely, genuinely making the necessary changes. Give me some more. Pinnacles in reverse. Leo, Virgo. I see somebody third eye block. Failing business, poor financial decisions, materialistic instability, obsessed with wealth and status possessive. Like I said, this is somebody that, you know, they slowly but surely making the necessary changes, but this is somebody that has had to, you know, accept this loss. Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck in the upright Cancer energy. Unified love, attraction, relationships, partnerships, romantic entanglements. Shared understanding. But this person has to go through their karma. You know, they have to get this lesson because somebody, you know, went toward greed. They greed you know, this materialistic, you know, mindset of, you know, trying to have a, the good life and all this and, and instead instead of just, you know, selling for the simple things in life. Trying to be, you know, flashy don't always mean you're going to get all the, you know, the attention always going to be good. The attention was on them in a bad way. You know, the attention they wanted ain't what they got. They got the attention they don't want now. Clarify this world and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify this world and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Give me some time this world and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, see, this is the inner tower. 
intense and sudden change, catastrophic destruction, painful loss, tragedy, revelation, trauma, chaos. And that's what's going on around this person now because the changes that somebody's making is slow, but they genuine, you know, in making them. It's just that the timing that somebody has had to make these changes is at a, the ending of a cycle that somebody don't want. They don't want it because they know where it's going to leave them, where it's leaving them at now is causing the money to dwindle down. The, the, the money is not saving them. The money, the way they got it, is they losing it the way they got it. And this person, you know, pissed at the fact that they found something of yours that this masculine still has, which proves this person hasn't genuinely let you go. You know, whether they're using it to pull from your energy or whatever the case may be, because you need to be mindful of the things, items people still have from your past connections with them. You know, that's why I say call your energy back from people, you know, that no longer serve your higher self. Because, you know, people, places, and things. Okay, because people use that, but this person is somebody that likes to get readings, whether they do them on their own or they, you know, go towards somebody to do them. But it's they spying on you in the most they spy on you and see that this person coming towards you, you're gonna have something with them. This person is gonna make the changes the cause I pull out here, they probably got to. But the thing is, ain't shit they can do about it. This person, you know, is gotta make the changes. They the one gotta make the changes. The cars don't, you know, make the changes, they make the changes. Okay. You got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's in reverse. Virgo energy. Financial dispute. Bankruptcy. Fleeting success. Debt. Family conflicts. Or burdens. Instability. Rock or lose, rocky or lo loss of foundation. See what I'm saying? Like these, this is their karma. They on a tower. This is the day. <laughs> I'm telling you. Ain't shit they can do about it. I mean, it is what it is, but this person can't come towards you. This un this unexpected um, awareness is something that, you know, you already know about. You already know about this unexpected awareness. You know what I'm saying? With somebody trying to call you and give you the scoop on, you're going to see right through the shit. You, are, you can tell by the sound of somebody's voice and the words they're using that they just really trying to set the stage for somebody, you know, to you know, fail at something because they got all this failure around their ass from fucking with you in the first place. The very person who's trying to get you to, you know, hear some unexpected awareness is the person sitting up here doing these readings and spying and jealous as hell of your ass and found something of yours, possibly a, a, some clothing or some photos or something like that that belongs to you that this masculine still has. Okay? So that's all I got for you, Collective in this read. <laughs> Like I said, I'll show you the spreads, you guys. But as always, hopefully um, the reading helps you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Hopefully it resonates. Um, only take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe on your way out. If you're new, come back and fuck with your girl because I fuck with you. And make sure you do something nice for someone, even if you don't know them, collective, all right? And those that genuinely love me, I love you. Bye.